Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to camp the Goblin Bartender in Soyuzek A. He is the easiest camp you can ever imagine in Soyuzek A. They don't get any easier than this and he drops a decent item too. So guys, here we are. You come in, you zone in through Lava Storm and if you trace my cursor you go around here and, and you're right here. If you're a small race you can jump through the little window here. Uh, there's a window you can jump through and you can come to here. Make sure you do have Inviso up. Uh, nothing can see through Inviso at this point. And all you do is you just go straight down here. Very easy camp, like I said. Uh, there are a couple things you have to watch out for, but we'll go over the spells once we get in there. So get down in here and then swing a left. And none of these guys can see Inviso, which is good. And you keep going into a place that looks like a bar. And guess who's waiting for us? The goblin, fire goblin bartender. Now what you want to do when you set up is you go all the way over here. Now the reason why I say this is the easiest camp in the world is because these two other guys at the bar, they're so drunk out of their mind that they can't see you or they don't want to see you. So all you have here is the goblin bartender. Really it has to do with the wall here. It's an imaginary wall. You can go over but they can't see you. Anyway, my pet is weaponized. The bob goblin bartender is... Uh, let's pop the map away. He's 25. He is a rare creature. We're 27. And here's what we're going to do to him. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, of course, we're going to hit Tashani. You know that already. We're going to keep this root spell up. Root is very important. We don't want him running. If he runs, we're in a lot of trouble. That's why I suggest you bind outside this zone. If you're a caster, you must do it because uh, things can go wrong in here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go with Chaos Flux. We're going to nuke him right near the end. We're going to uh, put a dot on him when he gets kind of low on health. But we're going to try to let the pet tank him and do most of the work. These two other guys will come. If he makes it around that corner, it's over. It's sayonara time. So you don't want that to happen at all. So you got to keep him in here. There are a couple ways you can do it. You can go direct damage. And you can go with a stun. You can go color shift or whirl to your hurl. One of those will do it. Color flux will even stun him long enough for you to rep uh, apply another root to him which would be really good so um, let's go ahead and go with a color flux and go like this this way this will we can pop this if he starts running we're going to try to fight him right here he will hit us after we do enough damage so what i do is if you get in trouble i would go like this and pop and mesmerize i use this as a stun and if you don't have a dot on him and you stun him, you mez him with this, he'll stay there for 24 seconds. And then you can nuke him, mez, nuke, mez, nuke, mez, and you can do that to get control of this. If things go to hell in the handbasket, what I would do is I would go ahead and mez all these guys and pop a gate, but I don't think we're going to need it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open with Tosh, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, root him, and then I'm going to start hitting him with a nuke. He will be able to hit me here which is part of the problem. Uh, no matter what you do, you're in the corner, he's gonna hit you. So you just gotta go with it and fight him straight up. Hope that you can nail him before he can nail you. Let's go ahead, here we go. We got the Tosh on him, and then he's got this. Let's go ahead and hit him with Instill. This is a root. Now we've rooted him, and we can go ahead and move. keep these spells like they are here. And there he is. And we're just fighting him in the bar here. Let's see if we can get a good screenshot of this here. Okay, so how's the pet doing? Oh, pet's getting whooped a little bit. Okay, let's jump in. Let's help the pet out a little bit. And bang. Okay, let's hit him with the root here. Now we're going to tank for the pet a little bit. We're going to help the guy. When we get him a little bit below 50%, we're going to go ahead and apply the dot to him, which is about right now, so it's time to pop a dot on him. You see we helped uh, Pet catch up. He will try to interrupt your casting, but just keep blasting him away. At level 27, it's quite an easy kill right here. He will try to stun you, just keep firing. And sooner or later, he's getting around here. I'm going to dot root him again, just in case. You never know, he may get second ideas about running, and no, you will not run. And boing! Okay, we got him. What did we get off him? Pretty nice. It's Drake Hide Sleeves. Okay, let's go ahead and sit right here so you can sit and you can camp right here. You can just stay in this spot all day long and camp the guy, okay? So here's what they are. The, the real key here is they have extended range one. And this is really important because our Necromancer Enchanted Sleeve has enhancement haste. 
what this does it gives us four intelligence which is really really nice but what extended range does is it lets you target stuff farther away so it's kind of debatable but you get about 40 intelligence which is close to 40 mana at a higher level I, I like the extended range so in a, a place like this extended range is not that important but if you're out let's say uh, outside and you're kiting something you definitely want extended range but it's something I would change out and use whenever I can so anyway that is a uh, goblin bartender for you and you can wait here you can do whatever you want and recast your clarity uh, right here rebuff and stay here we did not use a merc so this is all done solo at level 27 easy job right here remember the keys is the root the nuke the suffocate and a mesmerize and you're all good to go. Hope this helps all you and hope you get yourself some nice sleeves. Thanks for watching.